Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we are learning about the Vlaminji Tang, or as other people like to call them, the Big Nose Unicorn Fish. These guys are awesome. Prices on them, it kind of ranges everywhere you're looking. In the shop, we had them for about $80, but I've seen them range up to two and $300, depending on where you buy them. So you definitely want to look around and see where you can find the best price. Tank size, I would recommend you have like a solid 180 at least. This tang, it gets huge. It's like one of the biggest tangs you can buy for your aquarium. Care level, it is moderate just because he has a little bit different dietary needs. Temper, he is very peaceful. You shouldn't have no problem out of him trying to be aggressive towards your fish. Reef compatible, yes, he is a great reef fish. It's normally where they're best suited. Temperature, you want to keep it 72, 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity 1.020 to 1.025 everything's basic there max size like i said this guy gets big i was seeing different places online that they were getting up to two feet which is huge for a tang can you imagine having a two foot long tang in your tank the only other tangs that really get that big would be like your regal tang they get huge too so you definitely want plenty of room in there for them to swim around so you need a big tank Color, of course, is that nice gray body with the blue dots and the blue accents running down his face and fins. Diet, they are an omnivore, but you will see they are mostly herbivores. That's how you keep good, healthy tangs in your tank is feeding them plenty of algae. Sea veggies is one of the best ones we use. That'll keep their health at pristine. They'll keep their colors looking really nice, and it'll just keep them overall happy. Origin, they do come from Indonesia. So compatibility, just ask down in the comments. I would recommend you only having one Vlaminji tang in your tank because they can be very aggressive towards their own kind. I did see some places saying they could have two in there, but just think if you have two huge tangs in your tank, you're going to need a pretty big tank. But putting him with other tangs, we really don't see a problem with that. Normally the best thing to do is to add them at the same time. That way there's less aggression towards each other. So with this fish, you want to make sure you have plenty of open swimming room for them because they get big. They don't want to be cramped up in the front because you got a wall of rock stacked up. So make sure you have some really nice caves for them to swim in and out of and just plenty of room for them to run around. They are very active. They have been prone to jump. So make sure you do have good glass lids up there, especially for the first couple months you have them because they are 10. They, they're pretty bad about jumping. The males, once they get older, you will see that they grow streamers on their tail, which is very pretty. It's awesome to see that. Make sure your water quality is doing pristine to avoid any kind of diseases or infections on them. A UV sterilizer matched up with a cleaner shrimp or ras cleaner ras will definitely help you keep this tank super healthy. And also ask your fish store if they have quarantined them already or if you need to quarantine them to make sure this guy's really clean because you don't want to spend all this money and have them die. But other than that, that's your Vlaminji Tang. I hope this helped y'all out. Hope y'all all leave some comments down below on any other questions you want to know about them. They are awesome. They're really easy to take care of and they really get big. If you're looking for a big fish for your reef tank, this is one to get. Hope y'all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe and check back in a couple days for another episode. I'll see y'all later.